This program is rated PG. It contains themes and scenes which may not be suitable for very young audiences. Parental guidance is advised. Be advised that the views and opinions of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. You are what you watch. Hello, my name is Harry Tumwako. Welcome to Talk to Harry. What we do in this program is we try and analyze and break apart the information that comes across, be it in all forms of media. We try to find out as citizens, netizens, whatever you want to call us, what exactly is the truth, whether we can handle it or not. The point being that we wish to help we need other people to help us analyze what exactly is going on. Now, of course, this only pertains to body politics and people who care about the country. Because if you don't, what the hell for? Ladies and gentlemen, there is a lot of information that does not come our way. We have to dig for it, we have to look for it, we have to source it. Sometimes we have to talk to a lot of different people and from there find out the real truths. We have to not necessarily create the truths but try and find out so that we can make good decisions. The elections are coming up and it be behooves me how we have so many vice presidentials and we have only three presidentials as of right now. How this is happening, how it's happened, how it's going to play out is really going to be very interesting. But not interesting to the point that it's good for the country. It seems rule of law or what you and I even think of what the standard basic laws no longer follow through. Well, of course, we have an American who's running for the presidency and now a former Supreme Court uh, justice saying that let the electoral decide. It's like the dynasty issue. It's already there in the Constitution and very many will say let the electorate decide. What is really rule of law? Then again, this is not a legal show. This is a political show and in politics, it's not necessarily what is true, it is more of what is perceived and what will happen and what will turn out. Now, a couple of months back, we had that big, big rally of the Iglesia and Cristo. For whatever reason they had it, we're not going to necessarily analyze. However, during that stint or that three, four day run, it seems the president did come out on the third or fourth day and said, there are certain people or characters that have come out taking advantage of the people that are rallying for their religion. Mm, they were pertaining, obviously, to the youngest brother, Cory uh, uh, Aquino, which is Pepin Hanco, who was a guest here. And the other person is Pastor Boy Saikon. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Pastor Boy Saikon with us on the program. Thank you for being here, boy, because I've been itching to get you in that seat to get your points of view. So, mga nangyayari outside the babasa natin sa jaryo. Kasi yun ang yari nga doon, ikaw ang tinira ng presidente, ito mga to, parang nanggugulo. And all you did was you came out and told them the truth. Okay, so, yeah, uh, I'll give you. Us, update I'll, us, update us. I'll give you, I mean, regards that, that's anyway, that's a past event, but uh, eh, it's uh, worth the people to really know. No, uh, uh, I and myself no, have been uh, discussing with the Iglesia de Cristo the five basic issues no, that we all agreed to support. No? And uh, since February of this year, uh, Iglesia agreed no, that we should uh, uh, discuss no, and uh, plan on how not to rectify the issue of the PICOS. Malaking bagay yan. And then, on the mamasapa, no, issue. Because they have two of their no own. No closures, eh. Uh, then, also, the issue of the DAP issue. Okay. 
and again the issue of uh, the the uh, um, uh, anyway, uh, there are these three issues, no? but then it happened that the issue of a, a kidnapping that apparently happened inside no? mm -hmm. came up and uh, they asked me, uh, boy, uh, pwede bang uh, 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 tulungan mo kami research ano talaga itong ginagawa nila sa amin. No? So I uh, did uh, research and uh, what really happened there was the issue is not uh, Iglesia wanted a special treatment not to be investigated regarding the kidnapping. No. Ganun ang lumabas si Jari. That's how they twisted it. Ah. But the issue here really is there was a misjudgment on the part of Laila Dilima to have entertained you know, the filing of the case you know, uh, by uh, Mr. Samson accompanied by Channel 2 ah. uh, says Drilon. And uh, Dilima immediately reacted and said that this is an opportunity and uh, uh, preempted, no? Investigate niya si Guinan. So, ang sabi niya na uh, the evidences are strong mm -hmm. and that because of the strength of the evidences, I'm putting these two witnesses under the witness protection program. Uh, so, I think that's the two wrong. Complainants. I think that's wrong. Why? If there is really a crime that happened at the Iglesia de Cristo, they should have filed immediately with the prosecutor's office. Correct. And the prosecutor's office would have evaluated whether there is what they call probable cause or not. And if there's probable cause... That's then, when they elevate to her they, office. No, Iglesia de Cristo can still appeal to the prosecutor for reconsideration. Uh, but if they sustain the probable cause, then Iglesia de Cristo will have to elevate it to the Secretary of Justice. Ano nangyari? Inuna na. Paano ko kaya pumunta doon sa Secretary of Justice? No? Eh, sinabi na niyang malakas uh, ebidensya. Eh, ano sasabihin po ng prosecutor? Wala sabi na. Niya, against what his boss is saying. So, doon nagipit ang iglesia. Nawala siya ng the procedural legal process to elevate. Mm -hmm. no? And, in short, for redress eh. Mm -hmm. redress. Correct, correct, so, correct. So, yun ang naging issue doon. Mm -hmm. Now, why am I there? Siguro kung uh, sasabihin natin na we're taking advantage, it should be Iglesia ni Cristo that should be saying it, not the president. Mm -hmm. Because the president, uh, in the first place, no? must understand no? that uh, we are cause-oriented people and we are together no, with Iglesia de Cristo at that time no? not to overthrow the government but to articulate the issue. Masyado lang silang nagiging uh, paranoid. No? Uh, Mr. Saikon, malaki ba talaga talaga ang galit ni Noy Noy sa tiyuhin niya, si Piping? Uh, I mean, parang ang laki-laki ng galit niya. Uh, sa pamilya niya, mo, Kohanko. Uh, uh, hindi uh, uh, niya ginamit ang pangalan Kohanko na tinago niya na yun. Uh, 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 Talagang inahak... He really does not want to be a Kohanko. He okay, is, uh, di ba? He is uh, Simeon Aquino. So anyway, uh, that is internal to them. Uh, how do you know? But And, uh, I, 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 uh, I've seen... Buonadamay ka dun eh. So, eh, siyempre, uh, 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 sometimes he would say, bakit pa ako sumasama sa amin ka sa uncle niya, no? Oh. So, uh, <laughs> Sabi ko nga, uh, if ever I am with uh, your uncle, not only with Piping, but also with Danding, no? Yes, yes. Uh, in fact, uh, I'm close to both of them. Mm -mm. But I cannot no, uh, understand why, in spite of a letter written to Noy Noy by his father, never, no, and not to forget, to dip into the well of wisdom of his uncle. I read that in the book of Peping. So, uh, <laughs> Laban, the book Laban. And this is Malibanag yan eh. So, whatever uh, that burden of uh, hatred that he has for his uncle is something I cannot understand. Uh, the closeness of Peping to Ninoy is something you cannot separate. How did you get out of that mess? I mean, tinira ka ng presidente, lumabas si Jario, kayong dalawa, tinitira niya. And then after that, wala na, basta... Tinira lang kayo, that's it. Because I came out. Uh, because uh, Iglesia allowed me to explain the issues. On the last two issues that I was asked to explain, I presented the Mama Sapano evidences. Because uh, Iglesia was asking, how come ang bilis-bilis nung ebidensya mo pag-way nitong kidnapping, pero doon sa dalawa naming namatay na kapatid sa Mama Sapano, hanggang ngayon, wala pang closure. Wala kayo ebidensya, sabi mo. Uh -huh. You're still evaluating the evidence. So I showed the evidence. Uh -huh. And this was the first time it was shown in full uh, public, no? The 44 bodies on how they were killed. No? 
and how they were mutilated at the same time. And at the same time, they also released partially all the president's men uh, 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 expose on uh, how Napoles. No, uh, the, that's the fourth issue. Napoles issue was okay. one of them. Out of the five, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. Tama, Napoles the is one of them. Yeah, yes. the Napoles issue. So, uh, with, with that now happening, all of a sudden I was asked uh, to withdraw other evidences. Then, because why? That was the day that uh, the withdrawal no, of the Iglesia and something happened. Mm, it's something that I cannot discuss you now. But uh, uh, as obedient as the Iglesia is no, to their leaders, uh, the compliance to withdraw the next day, Monday, was done. They did, and they even cleaned up the place. Yes. Yeah, so. uh, ako lang na ano na parang nadamay ka. Let's go to the current situations, boy. Ano ang base mo ngayon? You've got six, five, six vice presidentials. <laughs> Alam mo, nangyari na ba ito sa history natin na mas maraming tumatakbo na? Ni walang political party. Eh. Kaya Tano has already declared. Trillanes. I'm not sure if Laxon is going to declare or not, di ba? Ni wala silang kasama. Of course, we have Honasan who has joined Binay, which is now complete. So you have the three Escudero with, with Grace, diba? with Po. Of course, you've got, well, the reluctant Robredo, who is going to ruin her life to become the VP. Uh, I guess promoting the sexy dancers, no? <laughs> as of this taping, as of this show. <laughs> and the three presidents, paano yun? Bakit napapayagan yan? I, I didn't realize pwede yun. No? Alam mo, number one, ano, ang, uh, one thing that uh, really amuses me is, here you have an administration party, supposed to be the strongest. Okay? The liberal party. Okay. Yan. And uh, they find it so hard. Oh, to, get to look for a vice president. Okay. Hindi bali yung opposition. No? Talaga oh, mayirap. Okay. Oh, uh, mayirap right, uh. no? Because they don't have access to the uh, logistical requirement no, to run a campaign. But uh, uh, for the Liberal Party now, to sway uh, the wife of uh, Jesse Robredo, no? uh, Congressman Robredo, uh, ako no, personally, I've known... Uh, Jess Robredo long before they did because he was with us mm -hmm. uh, in way back in 1991 campaigning for Ramos. He was the only one that supported Ramos I in, Camarines, that. Uh, in Camarines okay. Sur. Uh, in fact, uh, Villafuerte hated him with passion at the time. Though he was an adopted brother uh. of Villafuerte. But uh, so to me, uh, Jesse is like a brother. Eh? Mm. Uh, in fact, uh, we had the last talk we had was a two weeks before he died. And, mm, uh, the accident. And uh, hindi ko lang makausap yung asawa eh, no? But uh, I could have uh, lent some of my uh, advice no, to her. Well, hindi, it cannot be, no? That uh, uh, she is uh, being swayed to run. Not on the basis of what? On the basis of Jesse Sorbedo's uh, work? No, it, it should be on uh, somebody who should be prepared, no? And want to. And, 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 and uh, intended to run, no? Prepared to understand the intricacies of the problem of the nation. Uh, Kasi, ang sabi nga le, Vice President is just a heartbeat away of correct. the presidency. It's true. And uh, I know that out of that obedience, siguro pumayag siya, no? Tatakbo. But now ako, no? Now, outside of that, si sabi ko lana. Number two, Matakbo din si Trillanes, si Bicolano. Si Bicolano. Okay? And then, uh, kung tatakbo nga si Unasan, Bicolano ulit. Bicola. Tatlo oh. na sila. Tatlo na sila, no? Hindi, isa pa. May isa pa. Okay. Okay. Isa pa. No. May isa pa. Si... <laughs> Kaya ta, si... Tapos si Chis si Chis Escudero. Si Bicolano Bicola rin. Uh, apa? Uh, wow, I said, uh, parang naging monopoly na ng uh, Bicol region, yung uh, vice presidency. And uh, sabi ko nga, if and when... Bongbong Marcos would run for presidency or vice presidency, mm. you know. Kung vice president, then uh, Bongbong will take a walk in the park. Siyempre. No. Away-away mga Bicolano eh. Uh, Away-away sila. And you know, Bicolano, the big the Bicol uh, block is a huge uh, voting uh, capacity. No? But uh, if Bongbong runs now against these uh, four Bicolanos, then... Uh, Marginalize sila. 
because Bong Bong commands in solid, oh, solid north. Eh. Plus, uh, and the, he's going to prove it in this election. The Leyte and the Tacloban uh, votes. Uh, correct, so correct, correct, so, correct. So, Yolanda, so, correct. Uh, and uh, Bong Bong is gaining ground because of his BBL. Uh, uh, Anti-BBL. Eh. Uh, in Mindanao itself. It, ito ba, uh, very quickly, akala ng taong bayan, binasura na ang BBL, ito ba pipilitin pa kaya ni, Bong, ni Noy Noy Aquino? May sabi nila, they have to pass this by this, this December. December 16. Pero sinabi na ni, sinabi na ni, ano, ni Senator Marcos, wala na, basura na, hindi na aabot. Hindi na pwede. Tsaka, miski sinabi ni Andres uh, sa Comelec, di ba? Sinabi niya rin na hindi na rin pwede, hindi na aabot. Hindi na nila magagawa yung balot. Kaya nga ako bothered doon eh. Uh, na para bang ipipilit mo, paano mo palalabasin yung plebiscite at yung referendum? Magsasabay-sabay lahat yung gulo na yan, eh hindi pa nga sila prepared dito sa election dahil doon sa PICOS. No? Tapos tatakbo mo doon, eh yung PICOS by itself is already a big problem confronting the nation. Why is it only the Liberal Party don't see it that way? It seems public perception has it that Smartmatic has already messed up 2010 and 2013, and the PICOS machines have already messed up and did the voting for us, not the people as a whole. And yet, pinilit pa rin nitong, nitong Comelec ipasok ang Smartmatic, thanks to Brillantes, who had to step down last minute, di ba, inipit niya lahat para talagang walang mapuntahan. The scenario seems to be a little too suspect and convenient to bring Smartmatic in, which is so unpopular. Mo, Nevertheless, with the same guy, this guy Flores, this crook. Mo, uh, many Supreme Court decisions uh, have already rendered Smartmatic uh, as uh, uh, a culprit no, in uh, the election. The It's the government agency. Correct. Comelec, uh, for that matter, uh, Andy Reyes, in fairness to him, it is something new no, that uh, was thrust into uh, the administrative uh, incapability of his group to understand it. No? Because they, they are not taking stuff. The uh, only person that was there, they removed was a good black man. Oh, tinanggal naman, kawawa naman si Gas. Tinanggal talaga si Gas. Yeah. Uh, and then they relied on uh, somebody uh. Uh, who was caught uh, overpricing the security folder. No? Mm. He's a Filipino. And until now, he's back controlling it. And uh, he's working, I think, I believe. He, he sounds like, uh. he sounds like uh, he's favoring all the time. Uh, ladies and gentlemen. To help you understand, to help us all understand, the general perception is not necessarily what I say or what we say only about Smartmatic and Picos, but the many scandalous actions against them. Now, the amount of money is that being thrown by way of Smartmatic, the Picos, and the way we've been going after it, throwing good money after bad. I imagine the billions of pesos we've spent in 2010 and 2013 not to mention the warehousing and the conditions of these machines, which are only used once or twice, only to be, to be found out, to be seen to be disruptive, and not to bring out the real will of the people, only to have them again today in this coming election. Uh, carry on. Uh, okay. Um, until today, no one can say what was the final outcome of the 2013 election. Two. Hindi kaya si Era pang nanalo. Uh, 2010, dapat si Era pa ata nanalo, hindi si Noy Noy, you know. <laughs> but anyway, uh, the, yung 2010 uh, is something uh, can be explained. No? Uh, there was no, a provision by law that says that there must be random testing. Which there, when they did, it showed. Which and they then, didn't. And when why, they why did, you say random, uh, saan -saan no, no one should know. Correct. It should be raffled, which was followed in 2010. Wasn't it the wife of Piping, Margarita, uh, who found, who has all this evidence? No, no, in, two, that, 
She has the 2013 evidence. 13 yung kanya, 2013, sa Baguio. But in 2010, diba? lumabas yung, let's say, okay, yung Makati was randomly test. Uh, okay? So they voted 20 for Binay, 20 for Mercado, 20 for Henwino. Okay. Okay? So they shaded it, they mm. put it into the machine, then they uh, closed the machine, then there was a totalizer and says that there were 60 votes that was counted mm -hmm. by the machine. But when they printed the distribution of the 60 votes, what happened was B9 was zero, okay? <laughs> Mercado was zero, and then there was 60. Okay, now, this did not only happen in Makati, it happened in Mindoro, yeah, and yeah, it happened, yeah. no? Usan saan eh? In short, where they see it, they even count, 90 percent yeah. of the randomly tested machines. Uh, was inaccurate. So that's why they were forced at the time mm. to withdraw all the CF cards. Because it seems that the CF cards were pre-programmed mm -mm -mm. okay, towards their desired candidate. So it was removed. And so what happened was there was not enough time to reprogram it. They just had to replace it. The natural votes came out and that's why Noy Noy won. Not Estrada. Okay? Because the program then was for Gibo to win. Dapat. Dapat. Okay? Uh, Remember the president? Uh, of then course, of course. The president was Gloria. Now, yes. in 2013, it was different. One, they did not do a random test. You know what they did? They did a test telling them these are the places you have to test. Ah, uh, sila nag dictate. Oh, uh, uh, hindi na ito yung tinatawag na mm. may secrecy. Ah. Uh, uh, sila na. Uh, Three, hindi nila. No? Binigay yung tinatawag na digital signatures. Oh, wala nga, wala nga. Wala. And meron na raw. Meron na daw. Eh Tapos, ngayon, nag-iimbita na ako, Milek, supposedly. Ay, alam mo, dapat six months before election ang pinag-uusapan doon sa bataas, uh, na pati yung source code should be made available to all. Uh, now, para malaman ko anong program pero, sa loob. Here in GNN, we've talked about that. We've talked our face blue together with the many different, uh, sila Gas, Lagman, mm -hmm. the, all, all the different groups that, you know, that have provided, uh, even Leo Kirubin. He presented it here, right here in this show. Correct. Maliwanag lahat. Ang problema, bakit hindi nakikinig itong Liberal Party o yung Comelec na alam naman nila may ebidensya na. But okay. before you answer that, we're going to have to take a short break. Ladies and gentlemen, we are not going to tackle the Smartmatic issue just by itself. The point is, uh, Mr. Saikon has brought out the fact that one of the five issues na talagang pinaglabanan ng Iglesia ni Cristo of how he w got involved with that. When we come back, let's try and analyze exactly which way to go. Alam mo, ang dami nagtatanong eh. Sino kaya dapat butohin natin? Alam mo, ang taong bahay, parang talaga nag, with bated breath, sino tal dapat butohin nila? Maybe we can help you with some insights. Um, stay with us, we'll be right back.